Audi has entered a small car market which is dominated by some fashionable competition such as the Mini and the Fiat 500. And with this being the market sector where you get a small car for a big price, Audi have entered the market relying on what they know best. That's quality, refinement and build integrity. But is that enough? And does this baby ID succeed where style is all important? To my eyes, this is a classy looking small car with balanced proportions. It is distinctly an Audi and has been formed with some finely crafted details. Look at the way that wrap-over bonnet line cuts across the headlights. See the way the rear end looks compact and funky and the overall stance manages to look both purposeful and a little bit chic. And while Audi have managed to create a handsome look, those proportions hint at what should be a fun ownership experience. Inside awaits a lovely, high-class interior of the type that could grace any Audi. When viewed from the driver's seats looking forward, the cabin gives an upmarket feel. The controls feel nice to touch, the air vents are neat, dials are stylish, and the cabin layout is actually cleaner than that of larger Audis. It says something about the perceived quality that it's no surprise that many elements of the A1's interior have filtered up the Audi range. Look other than forwards though and check around and the A1 feels more like a conventional Super Mini. Fairly standard. The rear seats are big enough for most passengers and the quality materials and the finishes continue here. There are wide opening doors, making installing, say, a child seat easy. Generally, there's more room in the back here than you would imagine. Lift the large tailgate and you'll find two additional rear light lenses. They're there, they're fitted to ensure that the A1 can be seen at night when the tailgate is up. The boot, or trunk, gives us 270 litres, which is about average. This is expanded to 920 litres by dropping the rear seats, though the sloping rear roof eats into the overall load space and makes the boot a slightly odd shape. Okay, so what's it like to drive? The handling is stable and predictable rather than exciting. It's safe. Steering is generally light and while slightly lacking in feel, it enables you to turn into bends quickly and accurately. The general chassis setup is safe, but it may hinder enthusiastic cornering with that typical Audi understeer. Still, it soaks up bumps well and resists rolling around too much when you're pressing on in faster bends. The clever bit though, is that once you're cruising around or on a motorway, the A1 swaps its small car feel for refined and composed stability. At all times, the general ambiance in here remains quietly refined and comfortable. High fuel economy and low emissions at 74 mpg and 99 grams of CO2 per kilometer respectively add significantly to the A1's appeal, further giving weight to this being the sensible small car, car of choice. So, what's the verdict? The major showroom draws here are that badge, the chic styling, and one of the highest quality small car interiors you can get. The Mini might have more character, the Fiat 500 may turn more heads, but this great little Audi has real integrity and comes with the best quality interior. It is a properly resolved, solid all-rounder with its subtle good looks and a genuine premium car feel. So, 
Should the A1 get your money? Well, if your next small car needs to be a little bit upmarket, have an air of superior quality about it, and have that all important curb appeal, I'd go and take a good long look at the Audi A1.